Given your love for science and specifically problem solving, what do you love so much about rock climbing? One of the really interesting things about rock climbing is that you see some real meathead climbers and then you see a lot of physicists and engineers. And it's so, you know, it's something that in the climbing community we actually comment on. And it's, you know, sometimes you approach a rock face and your approach to it can be very analytical. So you may be this, you know, incredible athlete who has a very organic approach to things and say, oh, I'm just going to sort of figure out where, the way I go. And others, people have a much more analytical approach to things and they sort of map out the route and what they're going to do. and. Um, you know, one of the things that we do in science is you always hold one thing constant and steady and you, you're the one who applies changes. And with climbing, it's very similar. You know, people say, oh my God, it's such a dangerous sport. But in reality, unless something goes very wrong, the rock always stays the same. You know, there, unless there's some avalanche. You know, in baseball, there's like crap flying all over the place. In football and soccer, there's, you know, 30 people running around the field and balls bouncing all over. And to me, that's dangerous because there's stuff flying in the air. Whereas with climbing, the rock stays there and you're the one who makes changes. So to me, it's sort of like a, it's a, you know, application of the scientific methods. Like the rock is here. How am I going to get to the next stage? And it's just also such a release. You know, you, at the end, you don't have a score, one nothing, who wins. It's do you get to the top? You actually see yourself making measurable progress as you go up. And I've taken all the fun out of rock climbing for anyone who's never tried it now. <laughs> Like, oh God, it's like homework.